Oh my God, it's finally time. It's time to salute the American flag, baby, because we're blowing up some rebels. Wow. Okay, cool. Who's we? America and the proto-Americans, the British, the British. Okay. They're joining us. So we talked about this a little, you know, in the past, there's been this problem in Yemen with the Houthi rebels who have been attacking random cargo ships, just anyone that goes by, you know, the area trying to use the Suez Canal. And they just said like, hey, let's just take over the ship. Hey, let's start shooting at these boats. And finally, America's put their foot down. That's right. Joe Biden said, not on my watch, bucko. Okay. And he started firing missiles. We're blowing up the Houthi rebels. But not all of us had the American spirit. Some of us. Some of the more socialist leaning people are very upset about this. Very upset about this. Angry, okay. huh? Okay. Very angry about that. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna look at uh, our friend here, Brianna Greyjoy, in one second. Then I'm gonna explain because some people are like, what's going on, Sitch? What's going on, Adam? I don't understand why who these people are, why they're harassing ships, why are we blowing them up? So I'll do a little ex- explainer about that, and then we're gonna laugh at some more socialists who are very angry that we're fighting pirates and slavers right because we all know socialism is very in favor of piracy and slavery why wow yeah okay so uh here's brianna joy gray her react this is her reaction she says um so somebody said go houthis right there's even a a socialist type they're cheering on the houthis attacking ships attacking american ships and other ships and brianna joy gray says notice that even in america's telling of events Yemen's blockade has been bloodless. The complaint now being answered with American bombs is weeks of delays in shipping times. Yemen's nonviolent efforts to stop a genocide is met unsurprisingly with more Western violence. Um, okay. Now, now if you've noticed, you see the bottom, she got a, a little community note there. Yeah, that means, look, you done messed yeah. up. And it says, uh, it says uh, Brianna here, she's referring to Houthi actions as nonviolence. This is false and could easily mislead someone who doesn't know that the Houthis have been regularly firing missiles upon civilian vessels, which is a war crime. Right. I think we have a picture here of the Houthis right now. They seem, oh. <laughs> they seem very nonviolent to me. These, yeah, look- what are these things that they're holding here? So those are the peaceful protest sticks, as we like to call them. <laughs> okay, when you when you pull the trigger, they shoot little flyers out that explain, you know, why you should join the BDS movement against Israel. <laughs> okay, okay, good. I'm glad they're peaceful. These yeah, are the so, mostly peaceful protesters. <laughs> these are the mostly peaceful <laughs> protesters. So this boat is called the Galaxy Leader. Okay, uh-huh. this boat was captured. By Houthi rebels. This is what this is a photo of. And this, you probably, you might have seen there's like a video of this. They filmed, the Houthis filmed themselves doing this and bragged about it, of them just capturing a random civilian ship and all the socialists on the internet. They're like, this is so cool. It's like, really? You have a, you have a military operation just capturing a random civilian ship and they're wanking off to it because they hate America so badly and they hate Israel so badly that them attacking a completely random civilian ship that has nothing to do with the conflict, they just get off on it. I'm sure it's a commercial ship. So they're, you know, their anti-capitalist bent is like, oh, shit, look at this. Some rich person owns this oil tanker. <laughs> yeah, so th- this ship, um, by the way, this ship, they're still holding, so they, they really? took the ship. Wait, <laughs> so they took the ship. It had 25 crew members which they now all have taken as hostages and they still have them. They did not wow. release them. They still have the crew of this ship. Wow. So when Brianna Gray joined all these other complete morons talk about nonviolence and all this other stuff, they've they've literally hijacked a ship and kidnapped these people and are trying to get ransoms from the government from them. Okay. So they're still holding hostages. They're still holding these people hostages to this day. Wow. At okay. the time of recording this video. Yeah. Okay. So, you might be saying, why is all this happening? What's going on? I am saying that. So, Sitch, why is all this happening? <laughs> okay. So, Yemen kind of has been in a war forever with itself. <laughs> okay. A ci- is it, it a civil war? 
Yes. Okay. Yes. The North and the South have, have been fighting for a very long time. But in, ni- in the 1990s, they finally managed to unify, but not everyone was happy about it. And in 2005, a Shia cleric named Houthi, which is where the name comes from, tried to launch an uprising against the government. And this went on for over 10 years. And in 2014, the Houthi rebels managed to seize the capital of Yemen and take over a big chunk of Yemen. Okay, wow. So Yemen is split in half right now between the north and the south. You know, the, and the, the Houthi rebels control half of it and the, you know, the legitimate government controls the other half of it. And the Saudis, they support the legitimate half because they're more Sunni and Iran supports the the Houthis because they're more Shia. Wow. Which okay. seems to always be the conflict in all these, you know, uh, Middle Eastern conflicts. Straight racism. Yes. Yes. Um, so, but OK. But so actually right now it's kind of interesting. They were close to making a peace deal. For the first time, the Houthis in Saudi Arabia, and so a lot of people think that the yeah that the Houthis doing this is like a, it's partially a negotiation tactic to get a maybe to like flex their muscles to show that they mean business when they're trying to negotiate to whatever they want. They also need to replenish their ranks because they've been you know that's why they put out this video where they are bragging about them taking the ship is that you know when they when they came out and they declared oh we're gonna like protect the Palestinians from the evil Israeli people or the evil Israeli government that got a bunch of people in Yemen, apparently very excited to join the the Houthi rebel movement. And they all want to sign up because the Houthis said, Oh, we're going to go, listen, we're going to go send you to Israel to go fight the evil Israelis. Now, of course, they're not actually going to do that. They're just going to, you know, keep firing Mm -hmm. on innocent civilian ships and all this other stuff. And so they've been just kind of attacking any ship that they deem has any sort of association with Israel, even though most of them, don't have any association with Israel or anything like that. Now, I want to bring up this map because some people are probably like, why do we care about any of this? Okay. So there's this little thing, as you can see on the map, called the Suez Canal. And a lot of shipping traffic, uh, if it starts from, you know, somewhere around China or Singapore or something, if it wants to get to Europe or even if it wants to get to America, Okay, sometimes if they want to go uh, the Western track, they have they don't have to, but they want to go through the Suez Canal. Because otherwise, as you see, you have to go all the way around South Africa. Right. It's a huge shortcut for them. Yes. Yeah. You can even see on the map, you know, it cuts off 10 days of travel time. Right. Wow. Massive shortcut. So right there, you can see on the map, Yemen is right there. So now the Yemen uh, Houthi rebels are shooting rockets whenever a ship gets close. (laughs) So you so a lot of people are like, well, look, we'll just take the 10 day route. Yeah, right. Yeah. So so that's delaying all the international shipping. Right. So, you know, prices, ever, everything is going to go up. Gas prices are going to go up. It's a big hassle. And also, you know, they're causing violence. And part of the thing here, again, with Brianna being an idiot, is that the only reason more people haven't uh, been harmed or even killed is because when they started doing this, the American Navy went out you know went out there and they've been shooting down all these missiles and drones that they keep launching at these random civilian ships right and the american navy's not shooting at the the other ships correct they're the no, good guys they're protecting them they're li- <laughs> that's why this is insane the american navy's literally protecting random civilian ships who are just trying to give people all the the crap and stuff they order off amazon okay and all <laughs> wow. these left all these socialist a holes who are all typing on their Apple products, right, that were constructed in China that they need to be shipped here, right, are all complaining about. They're complaining about the American Navy protecting their stuff. Right. Yeah. You just totally spelled it out. It's they they're offended by the whole capitalist endeavor, so that's why they're big mad. Yes, it's just it's just America bad. Whatever side America takes has got to be the wrong side, right? It's just so stupid. It's so simple. And even this, and this also affects America too, because there have been ships that actually were going from the East coast of America to China, to Singapore, who sometimes they don't want to go through the Panama canal because there's too much traffic or there's weather or whatever. So they normally go the other direction through the Suez canal. And now they can't do that. They have to go all the way around South Africa too. So America's finally acting. They say, pulled on their big boy pants and they said, no, we're going to shut these pirates down and they're blowing them the F up. All right. That's cool. But of course, the socialists are big mad about it. They're very big mad about it. Here we have our good friends. <laughs> oh, my. oh, no. Oh, no. 
Hassan Piker. Of course, Hassan Piker is very mad about it, right? As he's living in his mansion. He says, I've been watching CNN since the U.S. coalition started bombing Yemen. Notice he says bombing Yemen. He doesn't say bombing the Houthi rebels who have been engaged right. in a civil war for 20 years, who have killed hundreds of thousands of people and subjugated women. And like, like you can't go outside in public if you're a woman, if you're in a Houthi controlled area without like a male escort or any of that stuff. Right, They've yeah. actually, there's been reports of them reinstituting slavery in some areas. <laughs> okay. Ooh. But no, no, we're just bombing Yemen. And they haven't mentioned once that the blockade was implemented due to the genocide in Gaza. They've, however, talked about how this bombing campaign is an act of de-escalation. Okay. It's, it's uh, Hassan's big mad here. It's just, it's insane to me. You literally have, like, how is... How is shooting random civilian ships? How does that help, like, stop, you know, the genocide in Gaza? These ships it's are, a it's protest. Not, these... <laughs> oh, that's a protest. Well, that's the way he's going to take it. That's right. the way he's going to frame it, obviously, just for his own political ends. I mean, these are not ships, by the way. These are not ships that are, like, giving weapons or anything to Israel. They're just doing they normal shipping stuff. They have nothing to do with stuff. Gaza, yeah. Yes, or, or one of them was like, oh, they, they attacked the ship because like the guy who owns the ship is Jewish. He's not Israeli, right. he's just Jewish. So he's like, ah, oh, he's got to be connected to Israel somehow. And it's not just sims for these people. It's disgusting. So we've got, they, oh, uh, Congresswoman Rashida yes. Tlaib, part right. of the squad, right? She's weighing oh, in on this. I mean, she's course. a Congresswoman. Hassan is just some dumb Twitch thought. That's right. <laughs> we should refer to him as a Twitch thought from now on. That's good. So uh, Rashid Tlaib, yes, that's right. Sitting Congress, so much she says, this the president is violating Article One of the Constitution by carrying out airstrikes in Yemen without congressional approval. The American people are tired of endless war. No, I don't want war, but I do want the American military to be blowing up pirates. Okay, who think that they can just mess with us? They can shoot. Uh, missiles and drones at our ships who think that they can just mess with me. See, unlike the socialists, I care when I order something on Amazon and I can't get it because some piece of crap rebel I, some who's subjugating crap women terrorist. in Yemen is shooting missiles at ships. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Look, Jeff Bezos can do some good in the world. He can get my products here on time. That's right. But not these stupid rebels are in the way. Screw with me. Why are they screwing with me? I didn't do anything to them. God. Oh, we have Aaron Mate. Of course. Oh, this guy. This guy. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks this guy's a respected journalist, but I've never really heard him say anything respectable no. in my life. Aaron, Ma yeah. Aaron Mate is a joke. You know, <laughs> he's such a joke. Uh, he says, on the same day that South Africa tries to stop Israel's genocide in the United Nations top court. U.S. defends Israel's genocide by bombing one of the world's poorest countries. Oh, fetch the fainting couch. There were okay. so many of them that were all saying this on Twitter. This is how they frame it. One of the world's poorest countries. Like, this really shows you how the socialist, hyper-progressive worldview is. Like, 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 being poor is a virtue that somehow protects you from being horrible. Right. Like, yeah, you know what? You want to know why Yemen is a poor country? Yeah, because they have Houthi rebels running around that keep trying. They've been in a civil war for the last 20 years that keep killing people, destroying the country. Is this because poverty causes crime, Sitch? <laughs> no, it's because crime and civil war causes poverty. Oh, you got it right. Look. There you go. It turns out the left is wrong on this. Yes. Oh my God. It's completely backwards. Yes. It's uh, actually, this crime is what keeps the country in poverty. Very you know, sad. I Very I guess sad. If, if a homeless person comes up to Aaron Mate and starts like shiving him, I will just stand there and be like, listen, he's very poor. So, you know, you just got to take it, right? <laughs> Look, this is this is a perfect example of what we're always saying. The left has it completely backwards on this. Yeah. If they if they joined the international community, oh my god, and started actually producing someone, uh, uh, actually started producing goods and services and safety for their fellow citizens, things would be a lot different. Exactly. No, they're just recruiting people to go take over ships and cause mayhem. 
Look, I like yes. to cause mayhem. Yes. I, <laughs> I understand. How much of the productive like class of people in that country are wasted by joining up with these yahoos causing destruction killing their fellow you know yemenese uh, brothers and sisters over this non over this religious war nonsense yeah they could be competing in a capitalist framework competing to provide products and services to their fellow yes. citizens but instead they're competing to kill one another right of yeah. course very of course. Very good. So we have Owen Jones here oh, as well. What's he got to say? Other fa your other favorite. Owen Jones, the guy who uh, wanted to say that, you know, he really wants to make a big deal about how there's no evidence of sexual, that the Hamas did any sexual assaulting. Like he really wants you to know that. Yeah, this is okay. the guy. This is right. the guy. The rape apologist. Right. Yeah. He says, uh, well, the world will certainly notice that the West cares more about shipping lanes than any living, breathing human beings in Gaza. Okay. Why are they tying this to Gaza? They're because the Houthi falling... rebels said this. What this is? Excuse me. Said yeah, they're falling for the of... propaganda of the Houthi rebels. What dumbasses! <laughs> well, obviously, we're not listening. We're not dealing with <laughs> intelligent actors. Here. Okay, it's so infuriating. <laughs> I mean, how how can they watch this video of like you know these uh, Houthi rebels board a random ship that I think was like flagged for Japan, right? It's not yes. even like related yeah. to any of this. You know, they capture the crew. They've been holding them hostage. And they're like, we're doing this in the name of like Palestinian liberation. Like no, they're, they're like giggling under their breath when they say that, you know. They're doing it in the name of ransom money. <laughs> yeah. That's what they're doing it in the name yes. of. Yes. Yes. So it's stupid. So yeah. So we have one more here. Yeah. So then we have a uh, good old Craig here. Craig Mokhyber. Yes. Mokhyber. Mokhyber. There you we said, go. You got it. You got it. Um, hold on a second. All states have a duty under international law to act to stop genocide. Oh, so Yemen is just stepping in to stop the genocide. Yeah, okay. listen, yeah. they're 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 helpful. Okay, they're stopping the genocide. Out. Yemen did so by block by blockading shipping to the offending regime. The U.S. <laughs> is now bombing them for daring to interfere with the U.S. supported genocide in Gaza. There is your rules based order. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. So he's basically saying that Yemen is the good guy. See, the, yes, <laughs> these yeah. guys live in a dream world, such. This this tweet had 68,000 likes. Of yeah, I see that. How does that make you feel about like humanity? It makes me feel like Twitter is a menace to society. Is what it makes <laughs> me think. Well, I, I guess they just all have their dream world there, they all have their anti-capitalist dream world as they're sitting there on their you you said it perfectly like they're all on their iphones tweeting this stuff out oh this will get a lot of likes this is amazing yeah as they're all their products are using we're like use these international shipping ways to get them these products you know right yeah these people wouldn't last a day outside of the modern world no it's yeah. just the american bad brain rot is so pernicious and all these people it's so firmly rooted all these people and they just spread it so maliciously on social media it's disgusting yeah well let's hope it's coming to an end soon right any final thoughts or yeah i hope joe biden personally bombs every houthi rebel and i think every one of these crying whining socialists on twitter should have to join the houthi rebels <laughs> Oh personally God. if they're gonna cry about it and okay? get bombed and then Shit. get bombed in the aftermath all right there you go harsh in, Mi <laughs> in minecraft hi you just listened to a sitch and adam recorded video that's right we're doing monday through friday deep dive recorded videos now and of course we're still doing our live streams our live streams are on sunday and tuesday starting at 4 p.m eastern 1 p.m pacific and you can super chat us or you can join the channel subscribe to this channel right here to watch the live show or watch more of our awesome deep dive videos